Having a night. You by yourself? Yes, I am. And I'll have a one in the car. You look too cute to be in here all by yourself. How do you know I don't like a night? <laughs> I'm sure all these men's in here like you that way too. Hey, what's up? You come around here often? Nah, I'm uh, new to the city. Just needed somewhere to come and be me, man. You know? Oh, okay. Somewhere to be you, huh? What exactly do you mean by that? Hey, come on, man. You don't look like nothing but gazing and drag queens up in here to me. 
Oh, okay. So what do you get into? I know what you want. I see you like to play hard to get. And I see you on mouth in the ass. Very temperament, I like that. How about we get up out of here and go somewhere a little more secluded like my car? Well, I thought you'd never have. How about we get mine? Let's go. you had to say. Hey, you okay? Hey, I'm good. The captain told me that you was out sick. Uh-huh. We'll see about that. Oh, uh, nothing? Now the captain's just up my ass about these homicides, and I don't have one. Oh, shit. I don't have one solid lead. Um, uh, so when you think you'll be back? Okay, I'll see you then. Alright, bye. We got another one. This shit is crazy. Four homicides within the last week. Are you serious? You're right, this shit is crazy. I'm on my way. Hold on, I'm coming with you. Thank you. 
Thank you. I, I, I got you. Okay. Really? I'm okay. What's up, man? How's it going? It's hard out here, but uh, it's going. <sighs> Damn, man. Sure glad you got that cold right. <laughs> Started to get worried for a minute. So, uh, you gonna let me handle that for you or what? Ain't no question. Cool. Check this out. So how about we head to the bathroom for a second? What? Have you lost your damn mind? I mean, what if a kid comes up in there? I ain't finna get caught in there with your ass in no stall. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go somewhere where it's a little more secluded? Like the park or something. Park? Huh? <clears throat> All right, man. It's if you think that's more safe, then we can shoot there. Okay, all right, all right but check this. My car outside, you can just follow me, all right? Cool. All right. I'll meet y'all there in five. Five. <laughs> If I asked him, he would deny it, so I took pictures. You took pictures? I mean, what, 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 are, what are they doing anything sexual? Or, I mean, they could have just been hanging out, Crystal. No, but no telling what I would have saw if I would have stayed there longer. My heart, my heart can't take anymore. Crystal, 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 calm down, okay? Just relax. I mean, it, it could be innocent. 
Crystal, okay, we'll meet up tomorrow. We can sit down and talk about it. Please just calm down. Just calm down and relax, all right? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I never paid you to be the type of dude to get down like this. I'm actually shocked. Yeah, well, vice versa. I mean, I really couldn't tell, you know what I'm saying, until you start opening up your mouth. <laughs> until I open my mouth? I mean, what you trying to say? It's something about some of y'all, man. When you open up your mouth, you start sounding like bitches. What? Also, now I'm a bitch now, huh? You know what they say. But the shoe fits. Man, whatever, dude. Your ass is crazy. For real. I'm out of here.
ridiculous. So, what we got? Another homicide. African American male, mm -hmm. multiple stab wounds. Mm. Just can't put it together. I just don't understand. You know, this makes it a total of six homicides, you know, all dealing with males. It has to be something that's connecting them to the other five, but I just don't know what it is. But this, no, they weren't killed the same way. There gotta be something, you know? No strangulation marks like some of the other victims had. Yeah. But they're all men. Hmm. No. Is that Detective Johnson? I thought it was sick. Yeah, me too. Detective Johnson, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at home resting? Yeah, I um, thought you probably need some help to crack these crazy ass homicides. What is it, um, total of six now? How did you know the total? What, you been home doing work from your database when you should be at home resting? Oh, no, Detective. I'm sick, not dead. <laughs> I mean, we do have a news source. And every time there's a murder in Atlanta, you know they damn near know before we do. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. So, uh, what we got? Well, seems we have another male. It appears that he's been stabbed multiple times. No strangulation marks like the previous victims. I mean, Detective Bernstein trying to figure out if these cases are all related in some kind of <clears throat> way, but all we seem to come up with is that they're all males between the ages of 35 and 47. Well, is that right? Mm -hmm. So, um, have anybody investigated the scene yet? No, not yet. We have Detective Daniels and Detective Jones. They're investigating the outside perimeter, while myself and Detective Bernstein are in the process of investigating around the body. Let me see what we got. Yeah. This guy's been stabbed multiple times and no. We look like shit. Yeah, I'm feeling too bad. Man. Where's the witness at? It's right over there. You sure you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It's just this medication I got, you know. Got me sweating, you know, so. Um, let me just see what we got. All I'll right. be over there in a minute. All right. Are you sure you okay, Johnson? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm uh, thinking I maybe should have taken your advice and got some rest instead of coming out here trying to save the day. Yeah, cause you're not, you're not looking too good. Just go home and go ahead and get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go home and lay down for a few and give me something to eat before I do. Mm -hmm. I uh, checked over here by the body and I saw nothing. I mean, maybe you guys will find whatever I missed. Okay, I'll All talk right. to you later. Okay. Oh, hey. Well, damn, did you forget about our meetup today? <sighs> damn, girl, I've been so busy. Yeah, meet me at the district. I'm sitting here on a bench waiting for your ass. All right, I'm on my way. Okay, bye. Hey girl, what's up? You, you okay? Yeah, and no. Yeah, and no. <laughs> Either you good or not. But I mean, yeah, no. Well, yeah, because I know I'm leaving his ass for good now. 
And no, because he didn't even have the decency to come home last night to try to explain why the hell is he hanging out with somebody who I don't even know. Especially at a well-known gay bookstore. Wow. Look at this shit. Oh my God. Stephanie, what's wrong? Um, nothing. Is it okay if I take these? Okay, look, we, we definitely have to talk, but right now is really not a good time, okay? I'm gonna call you, okay? All right, miss, I'm gonna call you. You said that shit the last time, and I still ended up calling your ass. Captain, I got something that you need to see. What are you doing here? Came to check on you. Can I come in? Yeah, come on in. I see you still in bed. Yeah, I um, had a rough night last night. This cold got me about to lose my mind. Don't you think you need to clean up a little bit? Yeah, I will, uh, you know, just soon as I start feeling a little better, man. So, uh, have you all managed to find these on any of them homicides yet? Yeah, we um, have a few, but nothing solid as of yet. Oh, is that right? You feeling a little better tomorrow, man. We're gonna get some lunch before I come back into the office. Yeah, um, yeah, look, I, I gotta go, but, um. You all right? Look like you've seen the ghost. Yeah, I'm good. It's just all, the homicides, no solid leads. Got me about to lose my mind, but, um, I'm good. Um, I gotta go, but it, I'll, I'll talk to you. Okay. Just, uh, find your way out. Listen up, listen up. This is an apartment assignment. I need you guys on your A game, all right? We have a suspected perp in the male murders. Listen guys, this is one of our own. Well, who is it? It's Detective Johnson. Listen, let's take this serious now. We know he's one of our own. He's one of the elite in the department. Very well trained, one of the best. Just remember, he knows what we know. Try me, Isaac. What the hell drove you to kill six fucking men? My mom. She had this boyfriend. Every night. 
she went to work. He would come and put his fucking hands on me. I remember it like it was yesterday, especially this one time. When I locked the door and put a table in front of it. Look at it, stop me from getting in. He busted down. And he fucking son of a But why the killing? Because it was like killing him over and over again. <laughs> I mean, these sexual urges for man just came out of no fucking way. So I did what I had to do. <laughs> and that was the kill. All these motherfuckers. They were just like his ass. <laughs> I mean, I felt like me killing him was going to be some type of clothes. <laughs> but the urges just got stronger and stronger. So to be honest with you, I'd rather... I'd rather... Die! Ah! Didn't let them know I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you, but... I mean, you're my partner, Isaac. You could have told me. Look, Isaac, you can you can get counseling. There's other choices. All right, just please turn yourself in, okay? We will make sure that you get the best the department has to offer. Just, Isaac, please, please don't do anything stupid, okay? So, look, uh. They're at your door.
Hey, do something for the camera. <laughs> Let me see you dance. I don't think you want none of this. <laughs> yeah, you know I do. You see? <laughs> you see? I want some of that. <laughs> whoa, 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 turn your head, turn your head, turn, turn your head. <laughs> Mommy having flashbacks over here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Why you stop? Um, well, because it's getting late and your son needs a bath. Ain't that right? Come on here. Let's go get it. What about later? You gonna finish your routine? I got some ones. And this camera. We can make a movie. That's what I gotta go through. My brother can't even get a good peep show. Idea. Sneak up on them. So, what are we gonna do? Well, rent is due, so we gotta pay that. Gotta have a place to stay. You think maybe we can call some of these and see if they can give us an extension? Maybe. I mean, hopefully, then that way, at least my unemployment will have kicked in. Yeah. I remember when, when Friday comes and I get my check, that loan's got to come out. And the gas bill and light bill's due now. I don't have enough to cover that. That's not even including groceries or gas for the car. <laughs> Daddy, I'm hungry. Come here, baby. It's okay. Mommy gonna fish you something to eat in a minute, all right? to even get him on the transplant list. <laughs> How are we gonna do that? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna find a way. They said that because it was a pre-existing condition that they can't cover the costs. We didn't know. I mean, how how we supposed to know why son has kidney failure when and it shows no symptoms? Okay. Okay. So what do we do now? I mean, our son needs a transplant. We don't have insurance. We can't cover the cost ourselves. What do we do? How much is it? There's no specific cost. It just depends on the person. And they said that it could range anywhere from fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. And then if they pinpoint any future infections, that could be thousands more in anti-rejection medications. What about Medicaid? We don't qualify.
Hey, big girl. Daddy. Oh, how was school today? It was fun. Oh, yeah? You passed your spelling test? I got a 100%. What? How <laughs> five? <laughs> hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm just tired. <sighs> Look, I, um, I filled out some more applications online today. So hopefully I'll be getting an interview soon. Yeah, at least a call. Yeah, at least that. What you eat? Pizza. Pizza? Mm -hmm. Let me get chocolate milk. Let me see if they put my um, check in my account. All right. What you do for recess? I made new friends. Oh, you made new friends? Mm -hmm. It wasn't no little boys, was it? No. It wasn't? Little girls? Mm -hmm. You had fun? Uh -huh. What y'all do? We played um, hide and go seek. Really? Mm -hmm. Who was the best hider? Me. You was? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're the best. Only. When you Damn it! Baby, what's wrong? These damn stupid ass student loans took the money out of my account. I thought you were sitting in the hardship application. I did. This messed up. It's kind of like going off to college can put you in a worse situation than not going. I mean, we try to do the right thing by going off to school, graduating, getting our degrees, but we still can't find a decent job. Kayla, baby, go in your own place. Okay. And the sad thing is that they expect for us to settle for a job paying a shitty-ass $8 an hour. That ain't no damn money. Yes, $8 an hour and they want to garnish our wages and take our income tax? personal loan, but I apply for another business loan. Okay. So, hopefully that works, and we'll be able to make a payment in the morning. Okay. So when will you know? The bank is uh, working on lenders right now, so, I mean, if, I mean, you know, when <laughs> they find somebody, They'll call me and let me know when the funds are ready. Come on. You know, it's times like this. Makes me wish I had a traditional nine to five job. You know, benefits, 401k. We wouldn't even be in this situation. Honey, it's not your fault. Hello? <clears throat> this is he? Yes? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> All right, thank you. We got a proof. We, we got a proof. Look, 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 it's only enough to make the first initial payment, but that's okay. Cause, cause look, they gonna bill us the rest. All right.
What's wrong with you? What do you think is wrong with me, huh? We don't have no car. We ain't got no food. The gas is turned off and I can't cook shit even if Baby, it was. Calm down. Calm down? How do you expect me to calm down when we're out here freezing our ass off and starving for the last few nights, huh? It'll be so okay. the rain is past due and there's not enough money in my account to pay. It'll be okay. Trust me. We're gonna get the money. We're gonna get the money. I don't know how we're gonna get the money, but we're gonna get it. It's gonna be okay. That's what you've been saying for the last two years. And we're still over here struggling and it's the same old shit. Well, what do you want me to do? Huh? What you want me to do? I'm just trying to stay positive. You think I like seeing my daughter eat cereal and fucking noodles for dinner? You think I like putting water in the microwave to have hot water to wash my hands? Fuck! You know what? I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I'll be back. And where are you going? Where are you going? The boss of flashlights. With what? Say this one time. Give me all the money. Look here, man. I need money myself, all right? I got a son. It's in the house. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I got a family too, man. My wife and my daughter at home starving right now. And give me all your fucking money. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Just give me all your fucking money. I did. 
did it, don't you? <laughs> Would you believe me if I said it was because I had to? <laughs> Would you believe me if I said it was because I loved her? <laughs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? <laughs> you think I'm crazy. You see, once I realized that things weren't gonna get better, I thought of ways that I could fix it. So I said to myself, why not go out and rob a bank? Why not rob someone? At least my family would eat. I'm about to get kicked out of my apartment. My car has been repossessed. I have no life. What kind of man can't provide food for his family? What kind of man? So I had to make it right. And prison is not an option. I'll be better off there. We will be better off. be at peace. Yeah, go ahead and fall back on him for now. They was telling the truth. He in here. Yo, King, you all right? 
my nigga. I knew you was good for something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. You know these pawns get jumped when they mess with the king. Yeah, or the crew. They out there? Shit, yeah, man. You know I had everybody tooled up and ready to go. Soon as we heard you got kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah, you you don't remember? Nah, man. By who? The the Bedrock boys. Man, man. How you jumped the ball like that? Man, it, it was you that called the wrong play. Dog, it was you that called the wrong play. You got caught up in a stripper bitch's pussy and dropped your guard. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. What's, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Shot a movie scene, walking real slow Like she the sister of little dad bro Pretty ass get the body out of control If I was a white boy, I'd be stoked Like an Egyptian, she is so Go Rick Commander, G.I. Joe Legs and them heels are just unreal Like boom high's words on no, King of the Hill Gotta play Legos with her and Bill Like Black Friday, she's that deal Just like Candy Rain, I feel Like putting heavy D in her soul for real A booty in next is a highlight reel I need her on my team They don't call it tricking for nothing. But me being me, I had somebody follow you. Then I had somebody follow them, even though you told me not to. So how did they still get me here? You know, they own that place, man. But yo, look, we'll talk about that later. Right now, we got some business to take care of. Business? Yeah, I got them boys wrapped up in the next room already for you. Like a present. <laughs> Merry Christmas, nigga.
Okay. Better than you. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> How's my sister been treated? She's um, been taking real good care of me. I'm my son. <laughs> Just like his damn daddy. What's that supposed to mean? It means that your deadbeat ass should have been there for your son and step. <laughs> the hell is her problem? What you mean, what's her problem? <laughs> you wasn't there at all. And one for me, Prince wouldn't know nothing about our side of family. Look, I tried to. You tried and failed. Look, I lay to death for a butt. Look, there's some things you need to know about me. Did you tell him yet? No. Did tell you me tell what? him? Because I'm ready to go. Tell me what? We're moving to New York. You doing what? <laughs> you can't take my son. Are you serious? I'll kill your ass. Kill yourself. Hey, man, it's for the best. What do you mean it's for the best? What this bitch got you brainwashed? It ain't brainwashed, baby. She pussy lips. Fuck y'all doing, man? Hell no! It's bullshit! It's bullshit, man! Jerome and his crew. You don't need too close to the turn. You sure about that? I don't think they're no threat to us. Neither would have been in Blanco. 
but I don't pay you to think. I pay you to do. I do what I say before I do what I do. You the boss, boss. Crown up, partner. Round here, I run this. Yeah, you are my turn now. Uh, 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 oh, fuck. Uh, Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. How could you thank God for this shit? You were supposed to thank him for every thing. Even the bad, the it makes you better. Yo, well, I ain't thinking nobody for a hard time. It's thinking like that that will keep you here. And what exactly is here? You don't know where you are? No, damn it. Now answer the goddamn question. You're in hell. What? You tell me I'm dead! I ain't dead! I ain't dead! I ain't dead! I ain't dead! Send him to the pit. Wait. Give my guy this time. For me. He's new here. He has no idea of his surroundings. This is the only pass he'll ever get here, T. Take your ass and sit down. Come here. Get over here. Sit down. Go. What do you want from me? You're welcome. Look, I ain't gay. Then why are you acting like a bitch? I 
How did I die? Are you ready to act civilized now? Yes. You're not dead. But I thought you said I was in hell. You are. You're in your own hell. What? We are trapped in our own hell. Forever? Nah, brother. Just until we complete our sentence. Are we in jail or are we in hell? Both. Look, we're trapped under the jail. Literally. Let me take a look around you. This room is filled with society's worst. I mean, we are the cram de la cram of crime, brother. Everybody in here had at least a life sentence before signing up to the program. Program? What program? Damn, you don't remember nothing? So how long do I have to spend in this place? If you're a good boy, 10 years. Sign right there. I guess it beats doing life, huh? Damn sure betcha. Ten years. What? That's my sentence. So you remember? Vaguely. Let me give you the rundown. You know how people say you can put me in a cage, but you can't lock up my mind? Yeah. Well, they found out a way to do both. See, basically, we're part of an experiment that's approved by the government and funded by the militaries and millions of churches. You know, they say the reason for this program is to cut down on crime drastically. But I know better than that. So then what is it? Control. Over what? Everything. See, once you tap into someone's thoughts, you can get anything you want from them. I mean, can you imagine the fear in people once they find out about this program? Um, excuse me. This weapon? And you know what happens after that. You've probably been controlling people with fear your whole life. Here, take this. You're gonna need that if you plan on surviving in here. Lucid dreams, huh? So is that what LD stands for? Nah, brother. That actually derived from my nickname, Lockdown, from the way I used to come through and shut down the block. But I guess Lucid Dreamer would be a bit more fitting now. Cause I am that. So what does Lucid Dreams stand for, man? I mean, what does it mean? Lucid Dreams are when you possess the ability to control your dreams. And when you master this skill, you can use it to combat your nightmares and even use it for pleasure. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. This is real. And this book is your Bible in here. You read it, practice, read it, practice, read it, and practice. It's the only way you're surviving here. Yeah, I hear you talk about surviving here a lot, man. I mean, do people really get murked in their nightmares? Or some Freddy Krueger shit. For the most part, they go cuckoo, lose their mind, and find interesting ways to murk themselves. But how? Uh, you don't even want to know. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, won't they be able to find out how we control our own dreams? <laughs> nah, brother. See, they can pollute our brain, but they can't tell if we're picking up the litter. So, how do they give us nightmares? Uh, from this gas that scientists accidentally created So, what is this? Military. A war weapon? That's what you're saying? This is a war weapon? Did you miss my whole theory on control? Yes, this is a war weapon. I'll be goddamn. So, we got damn guinea pigs up in here. 
So how long is this supposed to last for us? For eight hours. It used to be 12. Too many people started dying in their sleeps from heart attacks. What the hell did I sign up for? Hell. Look, I have to get to my chamber. This is how it works. You go to sleep for eight hours, you face your fears for eight hours. You have one hour to eat, 30 minutes to shower, and the rest of the time is yours to do what you want with it. In your chamber. Just make sure you make the most of it. I appreciate that. But one more thing before you go. What is this uh, pit everybody's talking about? It's a place where you have to face your fears for 24 hours straight. your mind right and put some God in it. for sure hey King one more thing keep your guard up look